Users' credentials are critically important to an application's security. Keeping credentials safe protects you from data breaches, pivot attacks, and more. The Pangea User Intel Service allows you to leverage Pangea partners such as SpyCloud to return intelligence on users. This gives developers the ability to evaluate if a given email address, password hash, or other user credential has been exposed in a breach, allowing for numerous remediation strategies. Let's try out this service now. Starting on the left nav menu, let's go to User Intel. When enabling a new service, we can create a new token or extend an existing token. Creating a new token would mean greater partitioning of access to services, while extending a token with like services will make chaining those services together easier. Landing on the service overview page, we're able to see specific usage information, the tokens that have access to the service, and information about this specific instance of the service. On the settings page, you can select a default provider. In this case, we'll use SpyCloud as our provider, which will query their credential breach dataset to see if a given user's credentials have been exposed in a breach. Let's try out the service by making our first API call. Click on the Try It Now tab on the left menu. This will lead to our interactive API reference documentation. Here, we're going to enter an email address and determine if it's been identified in a breach. Note that this same API endpoint can take an email address, a phone number, a username, or IP address as the input parameter to query the dataset. By setting the verbose and raw parameters to true, we'll be able to see the details of any detected breaches with any available parameters such as date, email, password, IP, phone number, and username. When data gets exposed, it may not include all parameters, such as plain text passwords. However, if credentials were at all identified in a breach, it's best to have the affected user change their password. Searching to see if a given password was in a breach is also possible. Passwords are submitted to the API endpoint as partial hashes using an anonymous method called k-anonymity. More details on k-anonymity and the user Intel API can be found on our blog where we discuss our partnership with SpyCloud. Check out pangea.cloud forward slash blog to learn more. If you have any questions, need additional support, or want to share what you've created, check out our community Slack. Our team of developers can't wait to hear from you and we're excited to see what you build next.